Ukrainian police scattered the rally of adherents of Novorossiya in Kharkov. The police did not allow holding the rally to adherents of Novorossiya. Activists of the movement Ishod wanted holding of the demonstration from Zerkalne Astria to the Svoboda Square. The crowd of the police officer hindered to hold the rally for Novorossiya adherents. Some of protestants were taken to the regional department of the police to investigate fact findings. A gunman of Ukraine's nationalist right sector group has been detained in the Lugansk People's Republic on suspicion of plotting a terrorist attack in downtown Lugansk, the LPR Ministry of State Security said on Friday. An underground center of radicals was based in one of the apartments in the city. Explosives were installed along the perimeter of the building's basement. Bomb disposal experts have already cleared the area. In the apartment, officers found Kalashnikov guns, ammunition, grenades and igniters for them, as well as extremist literature and lip calling of local citizens to support the right sector. Moscow plans to develop global security cooperation with its traditional ally Serbia, the Russian Foreign Ministry said in a statement ahead of Friday's talks between Russia and Serbian top diplomats in Moscow. The talks between Sergei Lavrov and his Serbian counterpart Ivi Sadasis are expected to focus on cooperation as part of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe in view of Serbia's presidency in 2015. Bulgaria will issue all the required permissions for starting the construction of the South Stream pipeline and keep working on the project, Bulgarian Prime Minister Boyka Borisov said after talks with the leaders of European countries on the sidelines of the EU summit in Brussels on Friday. I have received the full support and understanding of the European Council. Bulgaria should not be held responsible and pay the fines for the project's termination, the BNGAS news agency quotes Borisov as saying. But too late, project already closing. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.